Second call, please, on the Dempsey matter. Good afternoon. This is resuming on ESO 9D0346. Mr. Uh, Doherty, I think uh, you were addressing your contempt, and I indicated I'd take brief testimony. To, um, but I want to hear from counsel, each of you. What is it that you are asking the court to do by way? I've heard from Mr. Klotz what he's looking for in his contempt. And somewhat I think I've heard from you um, what you think is reasonable on his contempt. On your contempt, what are you seeking? Well, Judge, we want the, uh, the marital property returned. We want my client to, at minimum, have his uh, Sunday visits that, he's not, yeah, that he hasn't been getting. But under these circumstances, uh, we would also like the children returned. Mm -hmm. um, my, my client has spoken with a sister. Which is Sharon? Sheena. Sharon? Sheena. Where she lives? Sudbury. Sudbury, Massachusetts. In the interim basis, she would be willing to take them in uh, while my client was able to find substitute housing uh, if, if the court was so inclined to allow my client to have custody of the children, terminate the custody, uh, the child support order. The current order is shared legal physical to mom, subject to the dad's visitation? That's correct. And counsel's representation. I, I think that's interesting. I, I can't hear you when I speak at the same time. Is it so frustrating to have that happen in here? Mr. Uh, Dari, your, your representation is that these children have been removed from the jurisdiction, and you, your information is as of when? As of um, June 4. And your client didn't visit with them yesterday or the day before? Or the previous, before. that's correct, Your Honor. And he has not consented to their being removed. Yes, his testimony would be not only did he not agree to it, but he was even told ahead of time that she was moving to New York with the children. That he was or was not? Was not. I hear you, Mr. Klotz. Thank you, Judge. Um, Judge, with respect, one second. With respect to uh, my brother's contempt, Judge, there's a little bit of background that I'd like to make the court aware of. Mr. Dempsey, as the court is aware, had been ordered to pay the utilities associated with the house. He has not done so. That resulted in the electric being shut off, Judge, back on May 11th of 2010. Coincidentally, Judge, the three, uh, three day, four days, I'm sorry, four days after a criminal clerk's hearing in which a restraining order violation was filed against Mr. Dempsey, a couple of days after that, the electricity is shut off at the former marital home. Now, Judge, we're talking about my client who has lived in that house um, with the four children, five children, I'm sorry, ages 12, 11, 9, 6, and 4. In a house, Judge, where Mr. Dempsey refuses to even keep up his obligation and pay the electricity, which is the hot water, the heat, obviously the light. So she had no choice but to leave that residence, Judge. Does she have a choice to leave the Commonwealth of Massachusetts? Judge, There's I'll, no choice there either? I'll, I'll get to that, it's Judge. It's his fault that she took these kids out of the Commonwealth pending the complaint for divorce being heard? Judge, is that the argument? Judge, if I could be heard, please. I want to know. Is that the argument? It, it's it, his yes, fault it's, that these children are not in Massachusetts seeing their dad and living with their mom. That's the argument? Yes. In, in essence, Judge. Well, the in reason, essence, I don't find much. I don't find... If that's the case, you know how many, if, if that was a plausible defense to removal, I can't imagine the hordes of children that wouldn't be living in Massachusetts while the courts are trying to adjudicate the custodial disputes between their parents and the financial disputes between their parents. A absolutely, Judge. And However, your client was, she asked to remove them, the courts denied the removal, pending a hearing on the merits, and she went anyway. And Judge, the reason she went is the electric is being is scheduled to be shut off again. The gas is scheduled to be shut off June 2nd. And the house was foreclosed upon for non-payment of the mortgage for the past two years by Mr. Dempsey. The house was gone, Judge. She doesn't have anywhere else to stay with the children. We never received any notices from Mr. Dempsey regarding the foreclosure about the sale of the house. They didn't find out, we didn't find out until after the house was sold from Attorney Dempsey, or Attorney Doherty, I apologize. So the house is gone, Judge. I'm not sure where the court would like her to stay with the children. Um, he doesn't pay his child support on time. 
He doesn't pay his other Counsel, support. Counsel, I've already suggested to you, the, it, it, I, I just would find that I've been doing this work for 24 years. To suggest that he's responsible for, the child, for her choice to remove them is just not something the court is going to accept as a reasonable approach. These children are in school, they're gone from their school at this point, and the justification is all because of financial difficulties that both parties have experienced in maintaining stability for the children. And to suggest to the court that interim arrangements short of removing children from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts are not available flies in the face of common sense. And I'm talking to your client. It flies in the face of common sense. And Judge, I, I, I can appreciate that. However, I'd also make the court aware that they were made aware that she would be moving. Attorney Doherty and I had that conversation. Judge, they agreed to allow her to move if she would remove her two contempts that she had pending against him. I'm not going to hear the back and forth between counsel. The, um, you know, parties can try to work things out pending resolution by the court, but those kinds of representations, I can't give way to those. The, um, what do you propose, Mr. Klotz? I'm being asked to return physical custody to the dad. Well, Judge, a couple of things. I'd ask the court obviously not to do that. Um, what we had tried to negotiate, Judge, was a visit every other week with Mr. Dor, uh, Mr. Dempsey. Um, we were going to extend those visits, Judge, and the only issue that came up is how the children would be transported, whether Mr. Dempsey would go down there, um, as, as a sole person, or if Mrs. Dempsey would bring the children up here every other week. Uh, and that's what I would ask the court to. I don't have a modification before me. I have a contempt. Two, I have three contempts. Correct. What else? Anything further? Um, Judge, if I could have a moment. Judge, my client just wants me to stress to the court um, the position that she was in due to the house being foreclosed and the electric being shut off as the reason for the removal of the children, Judge. And I don't find that a reasonable result to what I appreciate are very difficult circumstances. But there are a lot of people who have been in here in the last two years who have faced similar problems, but they don't remove the children from the other parent after they've had a hearing in which that was denied. Mr. Doherty, what do you wish to say that you haven't already said? The only thing I'd like to say, Your Honor, is, um, and I may have said this prior to the break, and, I, and if so, then I, I apologize for repeating myself, but upon information uh, and belief, um, she was also given money to relocate. Um, so that money to, that she was given to relocate could have also uh, afforded her opportunities here in, in Massachusetts. What kind of money? Um, that I don't know, other than um, I believe it was in excess of $1,000. Are you aware of any such um, relocation funds, Mr. Uh, Klotz? Yes. I've made my brother aware of them, Judge. It was money for moving expenses. Received from? Fannie Mae, the people that have uh, bought the mortgage and foreclosed on the house. And who was on the mortgage? Mr. Dempsey alone. And they gave the money to the mom? They give the money to the tenant judge, not to the homeowner. Well, the parties until recently, not so when did the parties last work together? January, judge. Mm -hmm. What grade is the oldest child in? Seventh grade. Mm -hmm. Stand by, I'm gonna, I'll send orders right downstairs, thank you. May I make the court aware of one thing as an officer of the court, because I may have misspoke. Uh, there is a restraining order out, and both Attorney Klotz and I have only recently become involved in this case that was filed approximately a year ago. And I state to the judge that I believe it's joint legal custody with sole physical to mom, mm -hmm. but it, it may uh, be uh, full legal and, and physical custody to mom, probably yeah. in light of the restraining order. I'm going to review that in any event, and I'll issue orders and send them downstairs. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. All rise.
you guys done? Was there a trial scheduled for today? Uh, no, there was one. The attorneys asked that it be converted to a status conference. So. Oh, I saw them here, yeah. Uh, oh, all right, good, because I thought that uh, <laughs> they threw your whole day off. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else. It's still freaking in probation, but anyway, you two can bring that down in a minute. All over the basement. Yeah. Well, I pulled that. You know what? I pulled that stuff up at Kenny Davis. Yeah, I got it right here. You got it. Okay. Now he says he doesn't know why uh, VOR doesn't have it. Doesn't have what? The information from Probate. Well, he hasn't put it into the system yet. He said it's been three weeks. I says, listen, it could be on somebody's list for me. As far as I'm concerned, I you gotta, you gotta, re you gotta remind Kenny that there's been like three other VOR days in between, and they're all like 140 cases. You know? Yeah. Um, but it says here, right? It's not to be. It's not to be stopped until June. Right here. Twenty twenty six. Yeah. So I mean, I'm not sure what he's. Why he's worrying? I mean, yeah. They're not. You know. That, that's my opinion. I mean, he's. he's got that, a, um, Yeah, right here, 26, to be suspended. Right. Yeah. He's got to pay up to the 26, and then it's going to be suspended. My guess is it just hasn't reached him yet, Mario. Yeah. I says, Kenny, it probably did, didn't reach him, or it could be on someone's desk with a pile like this, and we, we can't call and say pull it out. No, because there's done. like stacks in there, and each one of them has like, up in, up in Salem in that office on Congress Street, each one of them has their case owner, and you know, then there's all this, and the lawyers don't really know, so I can't call them. Yeah. He's gotta be patient. He's got Jimmy, you know, I mean, Jimmy, Jimmy's gotta calm him down. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, now, is Say Jones okay? What's that? Is she okay with the custody of the oh. woman? Oh yeah, on Say Ju, she's downstairs, yeah. I just, I just have to have her sign it. Okay. Gave, uh, 